archetype was created, coded in ancient ritual, and bathed in sacrifice. These ancient warriors, known as gladiators, participated in duels to entertain the people on behalf of their emperor, bread, and circuses. In those times, most men escaped the Colosseum's cage with their lives. Most men. The time has come to break free from the chains that bind and prepare your dueling spirit for enlightenment as I introduce a new method of dueling to the Colosseum. Behold, salvation from Tier Zero metagames. Behold, the artificial intelligence that solved Yu-Gi-Oh! Behold, the equation that draws the perfect hand. The time has finally come to democratize all of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s competitive knowledge and put it in the hand of every duelist in the world. The time has finally come. To never miss. Ah, uh, yes, duelist. The time has come. We're finally going to be getting in there. Just getting set up here. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing good in both Twitch and YouTube world. I hope everybody's doing good in both dimensions. As we set up this stream in many different dimensions and overpass all technologies and enter the realm of the duel. Let us begin. Yeah, there you go. All systems are go. Everything looks right and died. That's how we like it. So what's going on, my boys? Welcome back to another spicy live stream. I'm your boy, YT Dan, getting back in there again with another dang dude. So what are we going to do today? You know, I was thinking, I was thinking about a little something spicy. I was thinking about the gate guardy in because everybody keeps telling me, hey, Get in there with that gate guardian, my boy. Even the YouTube analytics said I better play gate guardian. So I also did another thing. We are streaming in horizontal mode on YouTube, trying out a little something new. And I want you guys to know that I hear you. I hear you, my boy. I hear you, though. I hear you. And when you guys talk about uh, the size of the screen. I decided to change it so that it looks a little better. I think it looks pretty good. But uh, let me know, my boys, what you guys think as we continue. I see some people jump, jumping in on both YouTube and on Twitch, and it looks like my signal is great and everything is live. And I am gonna go all right so what's good my boys i can finally see everybody in youtube and twitch world uh i'm seeing new new faces and old faces asap turtle my boy you got your prime gaming badge <laughs> i'm looking at twitch people my boy uh gelato my boy got his uh twitch recap 2023 i have no idea what that is slend my boy and beast cold black welcome my boy welcome to the stream Let's get in there. So what are we going to do today? We are going to play Jesse Cotton's strategy of using 47 cards in my stun deck. And we're going to maybe try to incorporate a little Gate Guardian combo. Because I think Gate Guardian could work great in our 47 card build. But I'll take a look at it and see what we got. Because I don't even remember 
exactly what we had, my boy. So we got to get in there with either the stun deck or the gate guardian. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do. Which one is this? Oh, I think it was this one. Yeah, this was it. This is the gate guardian. All right. And then we're going to, and then 47. Let me see. Those engine cards. Let me see. We can add horse. Add horse. Let's see. We'll add the one, the two, the three, the triple and seti. Um, that's 46. Let's add one, two. Oh, no. We don't do that. We'll do two of these because we play field spells in this deck. All right. Let's really play three because it's 47. And then this Ryoku thing. We're not going to play the Ryoku because that's the OTK thing. We are going to play this. We aren't going to play uh, 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 well, hmm. I don't really know how to, actually, I'm going to take a look at my stun deck real quick. Let me take some of this stuff out and make some room real fast. I think that was it. Oh, yeah. These three and then these three. That's 37. What else does that leave us with? And our normal summon in here is going to be pretty much, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we got a little something going on. Okay. I think we got a little something. I think we do got the other nemesis guy, too. I think like one of the protos. Yeah. Mm, nah, that's not the proto. That's not who we want. That's not who we want. Yeah, the sideways looks optimal on mobile, but not on the laptop. But if you want to check it out in the uh, horizontal, my boy, check it out on Twitch.tv, my boy. We got, we're getting in in double dimension. Getting in there, my boy. I think we're gonna need. Um, let me see. This one says can't be destroyed by card effects. Declare and destroy all. Oh, it can't summon an attribute. Let me see. What are all these? These are. Oh, these are just different things. I guess maybe we can play like the, the stuff we can play. Any spell, fragrance, summon limit, things like that. I think we could play. Um. We're gonna put this down to one because we, we searched this card. Um, oh, Duster, take that out too. Um, what else we got here? Uh, okay, that's good. I think this is pretty good. That's 34. Yeah, this one is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, you know what? You know what? I kind of just want to play this. You know, I actually didn't get to play this for y'all. I actually didn't get to play this for y'all. I think I'm going to play this for y'all. I, I actually forgot to play this for y'all. I think, because I think what happened was I built this deck and I made a video and then I just didn't think about it anymore. But I, I do want to play this one for y'all. This is actually a pretty fun deck. Or at least it's, it was fun, fun for me when I played it. <laughs> uh, let me see. Put that in there. So the orientation is hypergeometric. Your neck is breaking. Sorry, my boy. We're going to be getting in there in the horizontal on Twitch. Check it out, my boy. We have a, actually, I'm going to tell you like this, my boys. I have to tell you this, and this is the very frank truth. Right now, your boy has many, many, many powers at its disposal. When I must find the correct, most optimal way through A-B testing. Unfortunately, live streaming is only one method. Live. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we got to get in there like these. Actually, we're going to put in. Oh, you know what? No, we're going to keep our pseudo skills ready. We're going to keep it just like it was. We got to get in there like these. Uh, oh, we can take that out too. Uh, what else do we need in here? Um, link, one, two. I can't even really think of 
what I actually need. It's funny enough, I just can't put my mind on it. So I'm gonna leave it at, oh, and I got the product desires in there too. Mm. You know, and I could put a tactics in here. Actually, let me put that tactics in here. Go with tactics. Okay. I'm gonna go steal some W's. Uh, what did we do? Oh, no, nope, that's the wrong spot. Go to deck. Let me see here. Deck. Bam. Sex and Ryan. So what are we gonna do with the stud deck? Um, yeah, there you go. Let's try that. Stun sleeve. Whoa. Stun sleeve. Stun sleeve. Um, stun board. Welcome to heck, or the floor is lava. The floor is lava. Some toys over there. All right. And let's see. And he's gonna have to take D. So let's go ahead and pick that. And there you go. I'm gonna pass some judgment. All right. I think we're good. All right, let's go get violent. We'll do this later. We'll punish them now with these. All right, I'm ready. Yes, my boy. Right now is doing YouTube lives in the shorts form, but it's also doing Twitch in the horizontal form as well. There's lots of stuff going on, but to save you a lot of trouble, my boy, you know, trust me on this. Just trust me on this. I just, just do that, my boy. Trust me on this. Trust that we got these. Huh? Man. Man. If you don't stop your scam. I also feel like, too, when you pick, when you play a scam deck, your opponent plays a scam deck. You know what I'm saying? Oh no! Voiceless voice plays Pot of Extravagance? Well, I guess so. Oh, you can't draw. Okay, never mind. That makes sense. You can't draw because they do a lot of adding. That makes sense. They just killed my dog! Get that out of here. <laughs> yes. Silence. The floor is lava, my boy. Good. 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 The punishment. Oh, that's why I had that card in there. Silly me. Let's try these. Totally forgot that's why I had that card in there. Like, I, I feel a little silly. Dogmatic punishment. Ash, dog. Well, that's fine. I don't mind. You know I'll just do it again. <laughs> well. Silly Billy. You goofy. Goofy idolist. You can leave him outside. Goofy eyed duelist, you can leave them outside. Come on. Hello? Hmm. Let me see. What does it say, actually? Ah. Ball pool. This is the power of the sarcophagus. Salute, warrior. And I place a card face down. And I end my turn. Go ahead, it's your move. <laughs> you said flip the screen? I'm trying. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot in the midst of the stream, my boy. But it is, if you want to watch it on Twitch, you can watch it. The other way. 
You can't watch it the other way. But trust your boy, my boys. Trust your boy. Trust your boy. Trust me on these. All right, let's see. It's tilt time. That card's pretty scary. If I didn't have these. <laughs> Where's your mystical space typhoon now, fool? Yes. <laughs> Looks like you'll have to get low. Yes, and you know what's next. More and more cards lodge deep in the sarcophagus will rise yet again to show you the power of the Zeddy's curse. You fool! You dare challenge the power of the sarcophagus? Be gone. Get low. Nani? You dare attack against the blessings? Ah! My boy, Santiza, Santizi69. Thank you for the sub on Twitch Prime. It's, it literally, I literally don't use Twitch. So it's like, do you need more information on what a Prime sub is? <laughs> Twitch, you crazy for that, man. I am literally live on stream. Twitch, you are wild. <laughs> you are wild. So that's what I've been missing out on. <laughs> Should have brought back the blessings first. I guess it doesn't matter because of the skill pain. <laughs> Can you fight against this? The power of Zeddy's curse? Under the skill pain? Guess what? The floor is lava. Battle. You see, Daddy has returned to duel, and your modern cards are no match for his combination. Send it away, my beast, and punish him with Imsetti's rage! Yes, 3,000 of those things. You know what I like to call that? Justice. Justice for Imsetti. Hmm. Is there any beast I wish to terrorize you? Detach. Okay. I'll end my turn. Go ahead. Ooh. Fox Show. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate that. Yes. Level one hype train, sub gift, or use bits to get the next level? What? You can level up as you play your game on Twitch? Okay, I have to level up in four minutes and 16 seconds. Does that mean I have to win this duel in four minutes and 16 seconds? All right, Agent Chaos, you cut! I've got to get this! Lake For the power of the punishment of the SP Little Light Surprise What'd that do? Use the effect to do what? You're gonna ritual summon? But it but it doesn't matter what you ritual summon! But it doesn't matter! The effects are negated! Come on! The effects are negated! Come on! What you gonna do under the skill drain under the power of Zeddy? You fool! You dare to play with the power of Zeddy's cuss? All right. All right. I just think you could. That's all. I just think you could. Look at this. What you gonna do? Check this one out. 
I know you don't play Mirror Force. You're too deep in the meta. <laughs> Greed is good. I'll be sending this card away. To take you down. I'm getting the monkey. Come on out, monkey. Me and my monkey. Get ready. My name is Blessings Beast, and I am sending you with the power of infancy. I am gonna shoot. <laughs> of your forbidden droplets. I'd love to see it negate my effects. Yes. <laughs> Take zero! Take 16! Take 15! Take a monkey snacks! Got your cheeks in my hand, boy. You're not gonna escape from me. Prepare for the punishment. Yes. This is the power of Imseti's curse. Look at him choking! Look at him choking! <laughs> You'll never escape the power of Imseti's curse. And even if you do, a real ninja's gonna stop ya. Get ready. <laughs> you can get as low as you want. You can get all the way to the flow. Come on. Hmm? That's not gonna help. That's not gonna help. It's called skill drain, not skill gain. Come on. Don't tell me you're defeated by just two cards in the back row. <laughs> Looks like you can't draw. Yeah. Come on. Show me. The floor is lava. He's nice. <laughs> I don't hear nothing from the boyless voice. Please speak up. I don't hear you. Please speak up. Voiceless voice. Huh? I don't hear you. What it say? Huh? What it do? Hmm? What we doing? <laughs> He's finally read his cards. Good. Good. I like that. I like that. I like it when duelists go. Hmm. Hmm. When a monster on the field effect. Oh, so you're saying I can't activate any effects? Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Damn. Attack. Oh, man. Oh, that oh, that's not an effect. Oh, man. I love that. That's my favorite part of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, yes. Take that. That's my that's my absolute favorite part. Look at this. Go. <laughs> yeah. Punishment. Yeah. Skill drain puts in that work, man. Skill drain with that with that thing is crazy. Look at me going first. Isn't that crazy? YT Dan chose to go first. Woo! Them pigs must be flying, boy. Satan must need a goddamn uh, uh, burka and shit. It's crazy. <gasps> Impossible. Okay, let's go. All right, what's this one do? This one is say... Special summon, you can add a cash, but then this one is my normal for my thing. And then, all right, let's see what happens. Shotgun! Huh! It's cashier fear here, dog! Now, normal summon, Harvest Angel of Doom. Use your effect, Harvest Angel. Search the deck. <laughs> Search my deck? For the horn of heaven! You fool! You thought that your minus one would save you from this?
Tanindo. You won't escape from this. You won't escape. Horn of Heaven. Cash to your fin rear. Cash to your fin rear. Horn of Heaven. Show me your Ubel. Show me the Ubel. No! How? No! So that's what that feels like. Full combo, no counters. Oh my god, I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I am cooked. Oh no, I am completely and totally cooked. This guy is about to go full combo, Isolde, Surge, Summon, stack them up, go bananas. But what if I do this? <laughs> Maybe you'll never get the chance. Let me read these cards carefully. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be gone. Show me your extender. Show me your extender. Show me you have more. Show me you have more than the duster. Weak. He has nothing more. It's over. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna get a little punishment. Bottle. Harvest Angel of Doom. I'm gonna pull a Jesse Cotton move. Time to go Jesse Cotton mode. He fell for the bait. <laughs> Prepare yourself. No. Wait. No. I played a whitey damn misplay. Looks like I won't be pulling a Jesse Cotton move after all. You see, it's only activated during the main phase. <laughs> no matter, I don't take minuses. I activate the power of the King's sarcophagus and use its effect to send a card from my hand to the grave because I wisely chose the correct cards. Now I bring forth the blessings. If you touch this beast, I'll draw cards. <laughs> and none of your effect monsters can get anything off. Do you think you can pass the test of my monsters? I don't think so. I think you're cooked. I think you're C-O-double-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-U-
You're not supposed to be. You, no, you're supposed to be honorable. What happened to? What happened to Izos? What happened to your honor? What happened to you? I can't believe you. They, damn. He really liked that. That's crazy. He really did that. I thought you was an honorable rogue duelist. I was having fun. Now my disgust level is through the roof. And now you must be punished. You must be punished and made sacrifice. <laughs> No. No, I, you can't do this. Money. Hold up. You gotta stop. Let me read this at least. You can banish this card from your hand or graveyard and special summon low four lower fire warrior from your hand as a tuner. If this card is normal special summon, you can target a level four fire monster in the graveyard to special summon it and that is a level one tuner all right I'll, let me see let me see what your ass is cooking i can find your i can find your choke point show me show me what you got i can read your cards you ain't that complicated i can find your choke point come on Mm-hmm. very good what else Ooh. okay You can send a fire monster from the deck to the grave. And then this one's gonna say, uh, if a fire monster you can put it on your hand. Okay, let's go, come on. I still have you. I'm gonna get you right in the choke point. And if all you got is SP little fight, well, I mean, you're gonna get me done. Okay. Let's read this. Let's see what your target was. All right, this card is equipped. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Get this card. If you control, if you control a monster that is equipped with a card, you don't have any equips. Show me. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, there it go. He's like, that's my equip, dog. All right, here you go. Do that shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now he gets the Shokan. All right. And this just uh, clearly can make his eight now. Let me check it again. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target a warrior monster. This card is totally equip it. This card is special summon it. Duh, 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 duh. And then let me read this. If this card is sent to the graveyard, then you can target a little five or monster in the special summon. Right. They just killed my dog! Then my money! They killed my dog! Then the Finrin taught me how to chase the bag. Impermanence made it so my game was lag. Now he's gonna go all in and combo that. <laughs> all right, now I gotta watch it. Ugh. Well, if you're gonna get tilted, you might as well eat. And when I get hungry, I like to eat non branded non-distinct breakfast sandwiches that's right non-branded non-distinct breakfast sandwich is always good to power me up when i'm being taken down <laughs> with the power of my non-branded breakfast sandwich i can die with dignity after this is my final meal. <laughs> I don't 
don't like this man. He didn't even set the goddamn imperm in the king sarcophagus column. This non-distinct breakfast sandwich is dry as hell. This <laughs> should got me some water. About to choke on stream. Look at Konami making me pay for that skill drain. But I'm not gonna pay that hard. Cause if he don't finish me off, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it. It's only a matter of time before I come back and steal the whole game. <laughs> no! Fox said he's gonna take the sub back after that one. <laughs> Don't take it back after that. Damn, that's how it is on Twitch. You gotta fight. <laughs> you gotta fight for them subs, boy. God damn. I'm about to get cooked. Mm -mm -mm. I am about to get cooked. Bro, you went to get groceries and came back home and the duel is still going. That's diabolical work. Boy, you ain't, oh, ain't no way. You really gonna do that? You gonna negate little old me? This man's trying to take my life now. God, oh, good. I'm going to live. Look out, Fenrir. He's going to hit you with all that. Oh, no. He's going to equip you with all that. Oh, I forgot he can do that. Oh, no. That's bad. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> oh, no. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. <laughs> He's a Popeye's breakfast sandwich. <laughs> Might as well have it been. <laughs> Popeyes got breakfast? <laughs> the Popeyes I used to go to when I lived in uh, New York was insane. It was so violent over there. <laughs> it was always something going on. And you had to go to the, in order to get to the drive through you had to literally um, pull, it, pull up into a narrow alley. I used to always think... <laughs> Yeah, this is what I would think when I would pull into that Popeye's drive-thru. This is how it felt as I waited for my order. Like, whoo, boy. <laughs> da -da. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'll defeat him with this. Normal shoe cut. Now. Rain. Let's go. I'm gonna give you a little bit at ease. You ain't gonna be able to stop him. Guess what? Guess what? All your cards say, negate this, negate that. I do this, I do that. You can't do nothing against my sky cases. Because his effect says, anybody over 3,000 of them things better shut their mouth. Now, I'm gonna give you a little bit of punishment. Get ready for the jump scare. Hmm? Look at him. Oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. No! Not that. Ah, uh, he's... No, he's so tiny. No, he's so... Oh, no, he's just small enough to do his thing. Oh, you're not... Uh, it's, uh, it's so tiny. Uh, I was trying to do a combo for the stream. You ruined it. Can he do the thing when your opponent declares an attack? You can trip it. Oh, you ruined it. Oh, you ruined it. You ruined it. You were supposed to be a penny back to I didn't, I didn't give you all that zen to be messing around. 
her torture ass. You are a paid actor. You're supposed to gas me up. I'm supposed to win. I'm the streamer, not you. Shit. I activate Sky Crisis's effect. Using my effect veiler to send this card back. Blow that shit up. Yeah, take that. I end my turn. I end my turn. I end my turn. Get out of here, you scammer. Making sure I get all the money's worth, huh? Look at him cheat. Look at him cheating. Look at him cheating. Look at him. He's got all of the game set up. And he won't just finish me. Boy, I'm out of here. I'm done. Goodbye. You. We'll have a conversation about this later. Forgive me, stream. Forgive me, chat. Forgive me, double dimensions. It's not supposed to go like that. You have a very scripted program here. It's supposed to go point A. Point Z, supposed to get in there, supposed to win a couple, supposed to lose a couple, supposed to be, you know, in a specific order, you know, time concerns, you know. Some people are not respectful of our time together. So you got to scoop, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just gotta go. You just gotta go. You just gotta go. You just can't, you can't bother with it. Man. Don't worry, don't worry. Look at this, this is a little bit better. And I'm going first. This is what this is what daddy likes to see. When I come home from a hard day of working in the content mines, I like to see a game winning hand on my first go. You know what I'm saying? Is it too hard to ask for a game winning hand on my first go? You know what I'm saying? Is it that hard? I don't think it's that hard. But we try to make it hard, okay? Now listen, I'm gonna draw a card and you're not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> Wait, the last time I got greedy and I got cooked. Better not get greedy. I won't open the pot of greed, but I will only utilize what is necessary to maintain and hold advantage. First, I'll use the power of the King's Sarcophagus. Such a tough choice. Well, actually, I'm gonna be sending this one down. He's like, what? How could he send such a powerful card to the grave? He must be insane. Kinda. I'm activating the King's Sarcophagus yet again and throwing yet another powerful card in the graveyard and putting my monkey. What's next? I'll show you. A bunch of summonings from the grave. Here's 3,000 of those things. <gasps> So you have a response and you didn't tell me? I activate the monkey. As I thought, very weak. No, that. what am I doing? That would be pretty funny. That would be pretty good. Yeah. Hello? Now, I bring forth the blessings in the face. With a board such as this, I'll force my opponent into playing some cards. That way, I can get him deep within my net for when I ensnare him in my trap, you will have no recourse of escape. All right. 
Now the game begins. Infinite and permanent? They always have the out. They have the out. Ah, so this is what it feels like to go first and be weak. This is what it feels like to go first and be vulnerable. This is why I choose to go second as the true king with my gladiator beast. But, you know, this is the punishment. <laughs> You fool! <laughs> I have ten alternate accounts! Skill drain! Your infinite and permanent won't be able to be utilized against the skill drain! <laughs> You're finished! Go ahead and scoop right now! For each turn, the power of my insanity will grow! Nani? Like Deki? Shelly. I watch him attack it. That'll be pretty funny. <laughs> you can't beat that combo. That's just broken. We need to make sure we need to maximize that combo. Actually, with the skill drain and that other card, I'm gonna go ahead and just add. Oh, forgot to put back my, my boy in there. Uh, and then, um, Ooh, oh, yeah, I got to look at these chats. What's good, my boy? Yeah, he said you got to play some engine. Yeah. Well, honestly, the only I do got a little bit of engine in here, but uh, mostly I just got a bunch of really good one card powerful one card cards one card cards uh the only engine i really play is the horn of heaven thing but you know that that comes up when it comes up you know you gotta actually open with that card i'm not actively searching that card but when it goes it goes where is the oh it's uh wings that's what i'm looking for wings wings sacred chicken come on we got the sacred chicken, and then oh, I think we do got the. Uh, is it? I think it's called bone or fo fossil. Fossil. Yeah, this one. You can bounce this craft and get around target a monster on the field. Yeah. We got the fossil knight. Okay. Let's try it. And then also, actually, if I was to put something in here, I would probably want to put. Uh oh, this guy's on the rank down. Um, Diamond three, and does he make me go first? I'm going second. All right. I was about to say, <laughs> bad day for him. So are you doing upside down strings? Nah, my boy. We're doing the uh, <clears throat> we're doing uh, stream in both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. We're doing vertical YouTube and horizontal Twitch. Ooh. I didn't know that was on this field. That's pretty interesting. But uh, basically, you know, you got to pick a lane for, for for either one. You know, so that's what I chose. Hmm. What happens if I? Would this just turn everything off? Like if like if he's got a board full of stuff and no back row, if I play this, this kills his whole board, doesn't it? Since each player applies one of these effects on the number of set cards in the spell trap zone. If zero, all monsters they control cannot attack or activate their effects. Um, so if he doesn't end on a set card, then he's just dead. <laughs> And then I get to go bananas. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Can we search this with anything? <laughs> this is a wonderful go second card. Damn, this is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Hold on a second. I feel a little inspired. That's kind of that's disgusting. 
That's kind of insane. All right. Yeah, if actually, I don't think he's going to end with any back row. So if he ends with no back row, I think we can play this and he's just gone. I think he's just absolutely gone. That's going to be cool. <laughs> That's going to be pretty nuts. Are y'all still climbing? Where y'all at in rank right now? Are y'all in master diamond stuck in gold forever? Where do you dwell duelist? Wait, it says 20 is like the ideal 20, 20 cheers. What is a ch what is a cheer? Bless Kabar. What Nani? He's in both. He's in double worlds. I'm gonna. I gotta do some damn research on this. You guys are throwing these digital things at me, and I don't understand. <laughs> I really am. This guy's not gonna set anything. I think he might be cooked, guys. I think he might be absolutely, totally cooked. And then we'll get to have effects. All right, let me see. Uh, what was I about to do here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do Let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, yeah, I think he, I think he's gonna end on a no set cards. So I think we're gonna be able to cook him. I think he's completely and totally cooked. There's nothing he can do. He's absolutely dead and gone. You said Sekka's light. Isn't that the one that's like you gotta top deck it and it goes bananas or something? Look at how crazy he's going. Hit KOG with Fluffles and Duel Links. That's what's up. I didn't know Fluffles. Oh, yeah. Fluffles. Oh, no, no. I was thinking purely when you said Fluffles. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Fluffles is in there. I know they're in there. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not going to end on the set card. Oh, well, he could end with an Empire. He could end on Empire. Yeah, he said the last one was Portrait. Now this one is Landscape. Yeah, this one is much better than the last one. I look back at the last one and I saw like a why I, I can see why some people wouldn't want to watch it like that, you know. <laughs> but then again, you know, it, it all is all preference, you know. So it's, it's like, you know, you can't really please everybody when it comes to the formats because YouTube only give you so many options. So it's not like, you know, I, I can't do much with that. <laughs> I can't do much with that. Except for offer an alternative, which is on my Twitch. Twitch.tv.ytdan. Or is it? Yeah, twitch.tv.ytdan. <laughs> How many people are even watching on Twitch? Oh, oh cool. It's like, uh, it's like uh, yeah, I think it's like 18, 20 people here. That's pretty nuts. Seeing that my Twitch was literally dead yesterday. That's what's up. 20 people is like a clap. Well, 20 people is almost like an efficiently, uh, an efficiently, uh, organized classroom like 20 people like so everybody can learn but uh you know that's crazy <laughs> i thought about like one time it said like a video i had had 20,000 views and i was like 20,000 views that's literally two legions like back in the day they'd be like get those legions together and defeat the army <laughs> and i would have had 20,000 people that's insane. Just think. 20,000 guys. Oh, no. He might get one of those things to set. Oh, no. Huh. Well, okay.
Yes. Is this how it works? I think this is how it works, my boys. Hiya! <laughs> yes. Yes. You've been targeted for punishment. The time has come, duelist, for your punishment. Are you ready to receive the medicine? <laughs> I have it right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Nani. I use the power of the King's Sarcophagus to send this card down. This is the power of the King's Sarcophagus. Go down, Imseti. Rise up, Imseti! <laughs> Are you jealous? Jealous of the power of my pendulum. <laughs> Rise, my beast. Rise from the grave. Even more powers to tilt you. Now, which monsters on your field need to pay the price for their sins? Which monsters need to be sent down forever? I have many cards to defeat you. But I am still biding my time. I'm just wondering, should I just do this? Let me see. If I do this, I can stop his next summon and get the whatchamajig. But I got a set if I want to use effects. But what effects do I have? Actually, let me see. I did that. He did that already. And then we do got monkey. Let's just get monkey. Me and my monkey. In. You fool! You can't respond to this. Come on, monkey! <laughs> Rise, monkey! Rise from the grave and join the dungle of the dueling field. And just to make sure that my monsters have the powers and yours do not, I place a card face down. It's battle time! Get ready for punishment! Who's gonna get the punishment? We got to get these big guys off the board. Let me see. And in this one. Special summon. During the main phase, you can special summon a fire from the grave. Right? This is busted. All right. Get ready to take this. A ton of D. Yes. Do, 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 do. What is your original attack? 23? <laughs> they shouldn't have never gave you life points. Freeze card at points too? Jeez. Okay. Well, I guess I can give him a little more punishment. Uh, we're going to attack this. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 
Turn in those. All right, we've got effects canceled, and we've also got a summon the gate. If we use the summon the gate on the right card, we can finish it. But it has to be the right card, or it won't mean anything. <laughs> yes! An excellent sign of your submission! I love it. Show me more cards. Come on. Money? He's seeking to destroy? He's opening up the Fire King's Island. No, it's Kirin. Oh, I see what he's trying to do here. No! It can't be a scam. A scam that not even my horn can stop? No. His combination. I'm so good. <laughs> but not yet. You see, we have powerful card effects, like you said, and the protection of destruction. We're still in this duel. He will consolidate his powers into a powerful linked monster. And when he does, I will play my horn. A powerful song to take him down. I'll toot my own horn. I'll do it. I'm going to toot my horn for victory. Get ready. Get ready for the toot. Let me just make sure. Only the feel is really Honey cannot target. No, can you? Yeah, target two cards. Yeah. We don't have any of those. Target. Ooh, was it target a card opponent controls and pop it? No. No. What card will he choose? <gasps> Impossible. He, he chose correctly. No. But if he chooses this card, then I'll get to choose a card. And if I choose a card, no. Im Impossible! What? How many cards can he destroy? He's not done? How many cards can this pop? Target an equal number of Fire King monsters you control and destroy. Hamana, Hamana! Son of a bitch. You will pay for your misdeeds. First, I will be getting that shit up out of here. This target. What else? This target. Actually, no, fuck that. Put that second. Hi-ya! Both of y'all. You in? And then... We're gonna cancel some cards. And then... Protection! Protection, of course. Go! Guardian! Glory! Protection! Oh, wait, what? Oh, no! <laughs> ah! I got distracted! I got too silly, Billy. <laughs> I went too silly, Billy. You never go full silly, Billy. I got distracted. It said send it back to hand. I said yes. I meant to click no. <laughs> ah! I'm kind of cooked anyway. 
But you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> we got to try. <laughs> you got to yes, my boy. <laughs> what? Far for rated? Oh, my God. Yo, your boy far for rated me with 2,000 people. Holy shit. Let's go. Oh, my God. Wow. You're going to make me pull the gladiator beast down. God damn. Damn. I didn't even know the boy Farfa knew I existed. What's up, Farfa? What's up, my boy? My boy? Hold on a second. Let me hit the dap up distance for Farfa real quick. I hope you got that, my boy. I'm sending the dap your way, my boy. I'm sending the dap your way, my boy. I didn't even know the boy Farfa even knew I existed. That shit, damn. Make you feel good. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. 2,000 people just showed up. That's wild. Okay, now I feel like I got to win this shit. All right, let's try to win this shit then. Oh, damn. Let me see what we got here. What do we have here? We do got Zeus action. He's got Zeus. He's got SPs. He's got 36. Oh, he's got 3,600 life points. <laughs> no, he can still summon stuff. I don't think I can kill him. Kill him. Yeah, I don't think I can just outright kill him. Kill him. Let's just try to beat him up a little bit. I'll try to beat you up real quick. I, I don't think I've ever tried to just beat these cards up before, actually. I don't even know if they do something. I feel like this has never happened. Um, and then Kieran, I know does all kinds of shit. It's power to destroy and send to the graveyard special summon. Okay, so you got to go last. All right. Oh, I know. It said destroy and send to the graveyard special summon fire king. Then destroy a card. Oh, my God. All right. Well, actually, yeah, I get all kinds of effects off of that shit, too. Okay, yeah. Pop me if you can. Attack my beast. Feel the power of the glory. Or the glory, of course. Feel the glory, of course. What the fuck? That thing has a battle effect? How does that have a battle effect? <laughs> How does that have a battle effect? That's, that's so stupid. Why does that thing have a battle effect? Come on. Come on, give me that good pop. Who are you gonna take? Ooh. 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 No! Oh, I'm cooked. Oh, I'm cooked. That was way more than I burned. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, that's only main phase? And you're going to get that back. I'm Let's go. Well, actually, I, I could. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Well, since everybody showed up on Twitch, everybody showed up. We got people up in here getting in there. Let's get in there with some gladiator beasts, my boy. You didn't make me switch it up. If everybody's showing up here on, off of Twitch, we got to get in there for gladiator. What's up, your boy YT Clear? Back at it again with the Gladiator Beast deck. It's the favorite deck I love to play. It punishes the meta, my boy. And I love to go second with it, my boy. Witness the power of the Colosseum game! Yes! It's time to get in there, my boy. I'm so I'm super hyped <laughs> that people on Twitch just showed up. 
That's cool. <laughs> Actually, I saw YouTube had a feature like that too, but I think it's on some kind of like beta. I remember seeing someone talk about it, but I but I don't have anything like that, and I haven't seen anyone use it. All right, let's go. They made me go first. Scammers. All right. Holy scammer. Response. Let's add some blessings. Let's send back the Luxetti. Pop the Horus. Use the Horus. This is the card. Normally never makes me go first. It's kind of actually a little annoying. Kind of surprised. But hey. Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's do this. Let's bring back. Blessings. Monk. Let's bring back Monkey. Protection. And then let's make the Hope Harbinger since I had to go first. Oh, actually, I could. Yeah, I could do that. You know what? Fuck it. You made me go first. Wait. You got something? You made me go first. Mm -hmm. oh, guy. Yes. Mr. Lancelot, I need your skill. I need your prowess. Come forth, Mr. Lancelot. Indubitably. That's what he would say. He would say, indubitably, sir. Let's go. Here it is. Number 23. Lancelot, the Dark Knight of the Underworld. Basically, he's a negate. That's kind of like, um, what's that card called? Uh, oh, I should put him in attack mode. I put him in defense mode by accident. Uh, of course, I have it. Literally did that, like, other way around. Anyway, uh, uh. Lost track <laughs> Lost track. Upstart Goblin. Well, of course. Of course. Of course he's got a card like this to trigger this effect. That's pretty funny. It's uh I was gonna tell you like it's Doom it's like Doom Caliber Knight, basically. The first effect must be negated. He must not have read that. So he so you know so not only did he have the out, but he didn't even bother to read it. No respect. <laughs> no respect in these lands. So basically, we've got the negates, and we've got two cards to, uh, well, I'm not going to let you do that, brother. I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it, brother. What's that, brother? <laughs> no! No! Don't do it! Come on, dog. <laughs> What's that, brother? What was that? Well, I got you. And if you don't got nothing for this, I got you. If you don't have nothing for the sarcophagus, it would be insane if this was like. It'd be insane. It'd be insane. If this was like, or like, like particularly my. Like, it would be insane. What? I have no idea. Oh no, I think that's something. Yikes. Oh no. Oh, sh three spells in a grave. <laughs> what a scam. Oh no, what a scam. Oh, you didn't have any, wait, no follow up? Oh, I thought he was about to get to cooking. Okay. No follow up, no scams, okay. 
Woo! 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 Dodo! <laughs> From one brother to another, it would seem that we are evenly matched. <laughs> One, two, three, four, beast of me to summon. <laughs> All right, get ready. First, I got the blessings on the dash. Mm. Watch as the power of the blessings increase and your terror rises as well. Come forth, monk hat. Huh. Well, come for protection. Come for Can you face the power? Can you can you face all these? I don't, I don't even handle all these. Attack with my beast. Like, what are you gonna do with it? Just take all that? Just take all that? Take take this too? Nothing? No, take this one? Nothing? No Karibo? Nothing? Take this one? You got that? No, no, hold it. Hold on to it. Oh, so sad. <laughs> yes, my boy. Super bright shiny. I am back with the milk, my boy. We're getting in there. And the boy far from let people know I'm in there. I appreciate that, man. Damn. You gotta hit I gotta hit Farfa up, man. That's actually pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool, man. It's always good when you get like positive like positive energy, you know what I'm saying? And then you're like, Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we're playing guys. We're playing guys. I clicked go second and I forgot that we weren't on the uh, 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 I remember we were on glad reviews. And if you saw the last stream, um, we went to 47 cards to make sure that we don't brick and we pretty much have engine and, con and we're consistent every turn. Because if you guys, I don't know if you guys watched my video or if you guys see my video on YouTube. I made a video analyzing Jesse Cotton's win. And on Jesse Cotton's win, what was amazing about his win is I found out his 47 card. Actually, since I got new viewers, I'll explain it a little bit when this duel is over. I found out that that number 47 is something to that because I used it in the AI that I created to find something called the hypergeometric distribution rate. And basically what that means is Jesse Cotton's deck at 47 cards was made perfectly to always have at least one engine card no matter what. And his rule of two was really tight because no matter how those cards came together, it seemed that he didn't brick. So I broke it down, I analyzed it, and I talked about it for like 30 minutes. People were actually insane on that. Some people saw that video and were like, how dare you talk shit about Jesse? And I'm like, did you even watch the video? I literally glazed this man for 30 minutes. I talked about how strong this man was, how powerful this man was. This man got glazed for 30 minutes. And then the first comment is, how dare you disparage him? I'm like, the fuck? So, you know, it's YouTube. But anyway, I found out that not only was it something to it, but it worked for me directly. And it's been working in this deck specifically. So because of that, I love sharing that with people. And I really think you guys should try that combination out. Like that combination of cards, like the 47 cards, uh, key card mix. Like you got to really watch the video to, because it's too much to really explain, explain in a stream. But basically the crux is the 47 cards made it easy to get into the combo pretty much like let's just say it was 10 games i'm gonna say 9.5 out of 10 games is what i would say because pretty much what happens is you always draw into this great combination of two cards which is like always playable and if that's the case then it's it's really hard to brick so jesse actually i watched jesse's video afterwards which was really exciting for me actually by the way Damn! I hate this card with a bath. I hate this fucking card. Anyway, um, I watched Jesse's video explaining it. And Jesse talked about how he, uh, number one, he said he was cool, calm, and collected. Because, like I said, from my assessment, like, he didn't, it was no nothing for him to, like, to, like, win or lose. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was, like, it was something that, what? What did I do? 
Wait, your opponent randomly picks one for you to special summon. Shuffle the rest into the deck? Actually, I've never played Gold Pride before, so I don't really know. But he basically explained how he played against a lot of players that bricked. And he just said he drew better. But that's not the case. He drew better because his deck was built better. So when his opponent bricks and has a suboptimal hand, he can also brick and have a suboptimal hand too. But his sub suboptimal hand is different from um, other people's suboptimal hands. Like other people's suboptimal hands might be unplayable. His suboptimal hand is like playable. <laughs> like that's the only thing I can really say. So it's just an observation I saw. So you gotta check it out. It's pretty cool. It went to ads when I started to explain. <laughs> I ain't even been on Twitch. I just literally turned on stream laughs and connected it. That's pretty funny. And I didn't know. I knew that it was turned on. I wonder what the frequency was. They was like, it's getting saucy. He's about to say something spicy. Quick. <laughs> Throw an ad in there. <laughs> I'm sick of this evenly matched stuff. I'm supposed to be the evenly match enjoyer, not these other people. This is kind of a little irritating. I don't know. I don't think I've ever really experienced this before. Everybody's evenly in me and making me go second. It just evenly just feels so dirty. I just, I just, ugh, it's just gross. That's why I like playing it, but it just feels disgusting. Draw. <laughs> Maxi. All right, here we go. Uh, let's add a horse card. Right. And we got the glory. We're gonna return a card. Uh, yeah, let's. That felt gross. That felt disgusting. Do not make me regret that, please. Do not make me regret that, please. Don't do that. Don't make me regret it. Thank you. Thought he was really gonna make me regret it. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I kind of. <laughs> what, what are you doing? It's 47 cards. You're supposed to be an engine. I'm supposed to be an engine. Well, I am still an engine, actually. I'm Technically, it's working perfectly. I'm still an engine. I'm just, you know. See, this is what actually what I'm talking about, actually. This is exactly what I was talking about. You see, I keep staying an engine, and even though my hand wasn't the best, this guy's hand wasn't the best either. But because I'm constantly an engine, he's a victim. Like, you know, that's that's the that's the crux of it, you know? He's a victim. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh no! Now I'm a victim. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and this is the power of the distribution. We cause pretty much, look at this. I can goof around and still be winning. Look. Look at him. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. I'm like, yes, you are finished. This is the power of protection. Go to the graveyard, my friend. And this is the power of glory. <laughs> Guess what? I bet you 99 cents. You won't make a comeback. I bet you. All the money is over. Here he is. <laughs> He's not going to get out of here. He's out. He's completely cooked. He's crushed. Call up Don Quito to cure Mystic because he's going to need a thousand life points. Call up Instant Fusion because he's going to get some ramen. You stop it. You silly Billy. Didn't you know I was going to do that? Did you know I was going to do that that time? Did you know? Jimmy. Now I've got the prismatic card. Now I'm the man with the royal fit. No!
Billy Billy. Come on. What else? Come on. I'm gonna get you, man. You can't escape. You don't you see that? Don't you see that you are literally inside in in 72 right now? The door. You're supposed to be buried, my gladiator beast. You will never face my gladiator beast as long as you face the warriors from the ship of Theseus. Go face the power of Imseti. Bye bye. Punishment. <laughs> gladiator beast monster shows up. Hey, hey, am I late? All right, so let's explain this. All right, so Jesse Cotton's deck. When we looked at Jesse Cotton's deck when we played, um, oh, I forgot we was only playing one and one. But anyway, when we looked at Jesse Cotton's deck, what we found was that his deck, like you typically decks have starters and extenders. So, you know, you've got your starter monster, like your Tri Brigade Fractal, right? And then you got your extender monsters, like Tri Brigade Karis. Karis would be an extender because you got to discard a card and then you can get a play going and all that good stuff. You know, you technically, in, to get full value, you got to take a neg one. So in Jesse's deck, because he's playing Fire King, Snake Eye, um, not Fire King, he's playing Snake Eye, uh, Fiendsmith, which basically meant any two cards is full combo, but any one card is a really strong one card combo so he basically had a maximum power level and a like median power level but due to this his ratios of the deck if he went second he had an 88 percent chance of of drawing a key card that he needed but if he went um first he had a set a 68 percent chance so what that means in this deck is what we do, since we plan on going second, we run cards to weaken our opponent going first, and we play cards that go second to break boards. So primarily, we want to get as much maximum value out of the two for one, out of the one for one exchange. So Lightning Storm on a back row of three cards, you know, evenly match, take everything from them. You know, Dark Ruler more, no more. There's 10 monsters on, on, the, on the board, shut them off. And basically, because this deck has one, two, three, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 cards to kind of get the combos going in here. And all the rest of the cards are just kind of dedicated to messing with the opponent. The way that the deck is set up is that we should be able to devastate the opponent so much on the second or third turn that we gain momentum turn after turn after turn and then we just take the duel and it's been really successful and since i changed it to 47 using the information in that video it's been perfect but i also took advantage of triple tactics talents which i talked about at length in that video as well so you should definitely uh check that out it's pretty dope but it is pretty sweet <laughs> Wow, man. I really appreciate y'all coming out, man. I really do. I've been, I've been, you know, wanting to do this stream for a while, obviously. And then, um, you know, when the weekend comes, you know, it's hard to kind of get stuff going because, you know, family stuff, you know. But, uh, you know, I just appreciate y'all, man. Feels, feels great. When you're like, man, I'm going to do all this stuff and make sure I'm ready to stream for the boys. And then the boys show up. And then it's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Feel good. What you do? 
from your hand or the graveyard. How about you don't do that? You guys might see some gladiation. Stop it! Oh. Ice Betty or Dead Chicken? All right. That old. Wonderful. From my hand, Lightning Storm. Destroy all the attack position bad boys. Yikes! He's out of here. Nani? I didn't even know they could do that, dog. <laughs> How the fuck they even do that? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, Synchro Summon on their laser field because of her bonus card. Damn it. Read. Read. Ah. Ah, my beautiful eyes. Fuck. Damn. Oh, I walked right into the ice barrier. Fuck. I walked right into that. That is, I have many questions. I have many questions. The first, namely, can you kill me? <laughs> oh wait, is this the guy that hits the gates? No. I'm pretty sure he can kill me. They, they got pretty good one card combo. What's that? 64. Uh oh. Six thousand. You gotta look out. This is not good. No, no, I got caught in the web of lies. Oh, I shouldn't have popped it. I popped it like a zit. I should have dropped it like it was hot. No. Uh, now he's left me with no resource. <laughs> I got footage. Dang. I should have read that. I should have read it. I should have read it. I should have opened up the book. I should have read it. I should have read it. That's my fault. <laughs> I should have read that. I should have read it. Oh, let me go say. I should have read that. <laughs> Imagine reading, my boys. Imagine reading. Imagine cracking open a book, my boy. <laughs> I should have read, my boy. I should have read. I do so much reading. You know what's messed up? I totally took for granted that card. I just kind of assumed that it didn't do that. I just only thought about it um, special summoning uh, that one card that negates if you discard. That's the only thing I was thinking about. Suspicious. This is very suspicious. All right. Let's see what we get here. Draw. I don't like this. It's suspicious as hell. All right. Use the effect. Uh, 
Get ready for gladiation. Ash clear. The ash has been cleared, sir. Tri Brigade Flacto has been deployed. Engage. Fractal line initiated. A little tongue twisted. Opponent going down. Hmm. All right. Normal summon. Banish two cards. Okay, it's fine. This is okay. I respect your impermanence, and I see you. I hear you, and I in my turn. Go ahead. So you, brother. You say, what he Dan? Why didn't you attack? I don't attack unless it's meaningful. Or basically, in this deck, I don't risk, I don't risk any biscuits. Life points don't really matter. Only thing that matters is control. Or at least that keeps me focused. Hiya! Maximum C. Resolution on punishment. <laughs> yes. It'll look like you'll be losing this duel. Oh, wait, no. Actually, no, that's, uh, uh that's pretty busted. <laughs> Ooh. I, oh, ain't no, oh. I'm finally the guy who draws Ash off Maxi. Don't even get to use it. Didn't even get to use it. But maybe when he searched his deck, He'll negate the ash, which will let me hit him with evenly, which will be nice. We'll have to see. Ooh, oh no, that's a uh, negate. Oh, target to monster. Okay. Stop it. Will you tell me to stop it? <laughs> yes, yes, it would seem that you're walking right into my trap. Soon, I'll get even, and then we'll see who wins the match. You know what I'm saying? Soon, I'll get even for the match. Come on. Yes, my boy. It is sideways, and I am here. And I'm also on Twitch. I'm streaming in two worlds. I had to fight the internet service provider and my CPU <laughs> so that I could do something. Oh, it's on the field. Mm. Nani? Battle! Attack! Ah! Future. You see, I got evenly. And when I draw my top deck card, yeah, I'm playing lightning stormies. Hey. Bye bye. Looks like you've came all the way to Egypt to find the tomb of Inseti. You found it here in the king's sarcophagus. Now I'll be drawing. <laughs> it's not your day. Looks like we've both been evenly matched. <laughs> Face the power of Theseus's ship. 
on the good ship. Lollipop is so sweet. Tilt to the L shop when I summon him. Seti, you better get them life points ready. Ooh, get ready. Okay, okay. All right, let me see. What? Okay. <laughs> well, looks like the distribution has served me victory yet again. On turn four, you're gonna get more. Take some of this. Take some of that. Take some of these. <laughs> Yes, evenly matched. Disgusting. They just killed my dog. Huh? Was he on the rank up? They just killed my dog. Oh no, it wasn't that other guy. No, the other guy was. One of those ice barrier guys are on the rank up. This guy's on the rank up. We've got to make sure we ruin his day. We're gonna ruin his day. Actually, oh man, I forgot we had them. The suck emotes. It says YT Dan is <laughs> UCC. YT Dan suck. <laughs> I forgot all about that. <laughs> what? Pay 500 in life points. Looking to deck for three friends. Your opponent picks one. Oh, it's like that other card. That, um,. That one card, that map card thing. Um, shit. I mean, all right. Just give me a normal summon. I kind of feel like I, I mean, I don't know. I actually, I don't know what to do on purely. I haven't watched any purely matches, and I don't play purely, so I don't know. Oh, he was going for a spell. Okay. I regret everything now. <laughs> I regret everything now. <laughs> oh, I regret it now. Uh, okay. What did that spell do? Special summon. No battle phase. Oh, wow. They just special summon? Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like they got interesting little skills. Cause I know that they get like they become fat cats or something like you, like they exceed stack and they get like they're like a towers deck. I don't really know how strong that towers get, but if it's like one of those unaffected by everybody, you know, ten thousand booty uh, type decks, then I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything on that. You know what I'm saying? 10,000 booties? I don't know. Purely sleepy memory. Quick effect. Nani? Okay. I'm glad we got this, but I'm like, I'm kind of, I mean, I kind of hope the next card is a Tri Brigade kit. That would be great. This is not distribution. All right. Draw. Oh, no. That's crazy. Draw again. This man summoned Pot of Greed. How can you summon Pot of Greed? Oh, three! He drew three cards, four cards?
bullshit. Draw four cards? Into... Into Max C? <laughs> Lion ass, boy. Lion ass duelist. Lion ass. Ooh, you, ooh. Lion ass. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. He literally will have one card in his hand right now. Watch it. Watch it. This deck even looks, it's kind of, it's always funny when you look at a deck and you're not used to the cards. It just looks, this looks so strange to me. It's kind of like, as I'm looking at this, all I see is the Maxi, Ghost Ogre, Bistules, and Nibiru in, in perms. I don't even see anything else. Everything else is kind of look, oh, yeah, Tactics, uh, Designator, everything, oh, Baylor, everything else. Draw four cards. That's gotta be the best go first deck ever. Right? That's crazy. Like that's gotta be the craziest go first setup. I'm gonna have to copy this thing. Oh, I don't have I don't have a deck available. I'm gonna delete something. That's crazy. Pretty crazy. That thing drew. What is this? A fairy? Fairies. They're fairies. That's crazy. And they pay life points? Oh, that's. Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Because I, I made a video last year. And the one guy taught with pure, I think he lost because of the, the the life points or it was a big issue. There's some sort of issue with the life points. I didn't, that, never remember. I would not remember. That's actually, that's kind of crazy. Draw four cards. <laughs> Do full combo, then draw four after you, like that's, that's gotta be one of the most mathematically broken decks. Because, damn. Oh, that's a good idea for a video. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna check this out. This is a, a, a theory that needs some study. So I got, an, I got an idea. I got something I've been working on, but I didn't have an example. But I think this is a good example. Uh, I'm first? Why is diamond so violent, dog? That's all I want to know. Why is it so violent? Everybody is coming for my throat, dog. Like, what is going on? It's like there's demons in this rank. It's crazy. All these dudes, man. Come on. You is not supposed to be this malicious. You're supposed to be cool. I mean, these guys is losing their ever-loving mind. It's, it's actually insane. It's kind of crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the little, the, all right, let's do. 
do these. All right, I think I know what I can do. Since I'm forced to go first, I can do these. Two and then gonna go here. Oh, I forgot to IP out. I guess I just do. I guess I just did that. Not the hugest deal, but yeah, there you go. I was wondering, I was like, where's IP? I guess I couldn't make IP because it wasn't. Oh, two non-link. Oh, non-link. I forgot about that. Non-link. All right. That was my my fault. I misplayed on that because they were non-links. I mean, one was a link or something. So I want to make that originally. I'm gonna set this over here. I'm gonna keep this one in my hand for the shuffle and in. Okay, it's on you. Brother. You go first. Hey, this is actually. Funny enough, it's kind of disproportionate. Well, no, no, maybe not. Well, 75% of people do choose to go first. So that means 25% of people do choose to go second. But I have been bumping into a lot of people playing go second cards like an evenly match. And playing a go second card like an evenly match would imply that you're trying to play in the main phase too. So that would also imply that you're a targeted go second deck so i have been facing a lot of those um frequently so it's been pretty interesting oh but you know what though this is going to be pretty funny because he's going to try to yeah 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 mm -hmm. okay. this, this will work fine we're also going to get the banish we get the banish and the draw, and we got the negate. So we're fine. And then also we got the normal summon if we need it. So we got a lot of good stuff going on. Banish, draw, negate. Like the board looks weak, but it's stronger than, than uh, let's see. Okie dokes. Special Uvel, sure. Like my my job is to get him in response to something, and not let him get away with murder. So basically, I just gotta I just gotta make sure I, I stop him from um from going a little too hard. Is it Umi control? Actually, Umi. See stealth attack, chorus, king sarcophagus. That that's pretty annoying. <laughs> See stealth attack, chorus. They do have water. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. See stealth attack, chorus. You making me okay. Let me write it down. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's fine. Yes. What else do you got? Come on, you goofy eye duelist. Ooh, that's that baby I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you're doing here. So let's see. Summon that one thing. Actually, yeah, I could do that. No! <laughs> Goofy eye. That's my fault. Too bad. I thought I was going to get a second chance to play the card. I thought I was going to get a chance to play on resolution. But turn player priority, I didn't get a chance to play a card. So it's my fault. Ah! Miscalculated! Yeah. So basically, if it was my turn, I could have did such a thing. But it's his turn, so I, I can't really. So that puts me in a position where, you know, he can, you know, get over with this stuff. Which was my intention was to prevent this, but I'm not going to be able to prevent it now, seeing that he got out another copy. But it's okay, though, because, you know, uh, I'm, not, I'm not too too worried. I mean, can he kill me? I don't know. I don't think he can kill me. But I think, but I think he's definitely you know once once i have to play something then i'm gonna either get him steady or i'm gonna get this so i'm gonna get one or the other if he pops one of my things but um but yeah i goofed i forgot that uh, i wouldn't get a chance okay special summon one you did oh, let me finish from your hand yeah square on Oh, that's annoying. He's actually pretty bad. He got it went from man, it's okay, and then it went to a little bad. Okay, stinky incarnate. Well, I mean they can't. Well, I mean, well, I guess. I mean. One of them can attack in SETI. And, uh, no, no, no. No, only no, only one of them has the effect to deal me damage. So, cost you. Is he going to play a third? Is he going to play a third? He's only got two of them that are alive. Sure, I'm sorry, D Lotus. Oh, but he can go get that other thing. But but still, I can get rid of one of them though. I can't get rid of one. So he need four guys that can do that reverse effect damage thing. You need at least four guys. He only got two guys. I'm, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna gonna just run him down. <laughs> he said, "Write it down, my boy." Yes. No, don't! I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. No, not the access code. Ah, uh, he wants access to my cheese. No, stay back, Mr. Access. No, me. No. No. 
I negate you in the name of obelisk. Come on, you are negated. Come on, stay back. You fool. You tried to destroy him, Seti, while the king's sarcophagus is on the field? Even though the access code talker's power is immense, your reading comprehension is nil? You disgrace yourself. And you will make the misplay. You disgrace yourself. And you will make the misplay. You disgrace yourself. And you will make the misplay. I know you're going to do it. I know you're going to do it. Oh, my God. He might not do it. Okay, then. Okay. All right, now, then. That's a little, that's a little, you know what I'm saying? No. You summon yet another feet. What is that? How much is that? 78 of those things. All right. If you're depending on me, if you are waiting on me for the W, you're sadly mistaken. I will activate my card's effect right now. What you gonna do? Oh no. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, no, he's got another one. And see this one. Oh no, I'm cooked. Oh no, I'm kidding. No. Oh, I'm, oh, ah, scam, uh, Mr. Access. Why am I being scammed by these ghost second shenanigans? What is this? Oh, super pump. Okay, I see why you want to do that. <laughs> I see why you want to do that. Oh yeah. Oh, and and uh, and what's my jig? Uh, uh. Gear Gamma. Yeah, I see why you want to do that. I see why you want to go second. <laughs> Man, y'all didn't tell me when I said, "Hey guys, I'm gonna be doing this full time." Making Yu-Gi-Oh content on YouTube and Twitch every day, all day, forever, for the rest of my life. When I told you guys I was going to do that, you guys didn't say, hey, Dan, look out. The meta's going to be treacherous. You didn't say that. You said, get over here. We've got cookies and milk. And I came for the cookies and milk, and it was nil. And you left me to fetish. What is this? Man, Konami loves setting up some games now. Dodo. No. The two cautious duelists. No! What punishment is this? Wait! No! I can't maximum C! No! My max C is negated! but he will not be elated. When he summons his monster, I'll use my infinite impermanence. Yes. And with the power of the impermanence, he won't be able to search his card and the macros cosmos is negated, allowing me to use the power of Maxi yet again. You have been outplayed and overmatched. Overmatched. <laughs> you fool. 
Здорово. But what? I've been scammed after not drawing engine, and I seem to have run into my garnets. Or have my garnets run into me? Hmm. I'll do this. Harpy's Feather Duster. Be gone. Macros Comblos. Not it. I thought he was going to be like, Lord. I was going to be surprised if he played Lord. Um, I don't want to search anything. I mean, I don't want to search anything off of this. Because I'm not playing two copies. I'm only playing one copy this time. What a stalemate. Come on. But oh. Why is Konami punishing me, man? Sure. Like, I read in the lightning storms and shit, so it's kind of like whatever. But they, they kind of like, you know, they're scamming me. You're running lightning storms and imperms and all that good stuff to get rid of this. But they're scamming me right now. Let's see how let's see how long they're gonna scam me on this. Yeah. Pretty funny. Alright, Dodo. Well, guess I'm scammed. Fuck it then. It's gonna be like that. Fuck it then. Play Ash. No Ash. Why no ash, bro? Why no ash? Come on. What is this? Come on. Can't get anything in the grave. That's really sucks attack my gladiator beast he had ash and didn't use it you scammer I'm so angry at him man he was supposed to ash and let me use triple tactics talents that doesn't make sense why would you not ash Actually, what did I play? I didn't play anything for him to ash. Actually, no, I played Desire Beast. He should have ashed that. He would have, he would have ashed it, and I would have, he would, I would have lost the monster. Like, why wouldn't he ash that? That doesn't make any sense. Jeez, if you got the lava golem, please play it. Hurry up. I'm just surprised that. That's how this duel is so awkward. Like, literally, Macros Cosmos, nothing else. You take a brick, I guess. Like, fuck me. Draw. Does this count as his card or my card? Let's see. Nope. Wah, wah, wah. Okie dokie. Very unsatisfying. This is kind of ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. It's such a silly matchup. Like, I couldn't imagine what he's drawing. That's game right here, actually. I should have summoned it in attack way. I forgot. Uh, well, not summon attack way. That's next turn. I'll say it, but uh, yeah, I will summon attack with it. Uh, okay. 
good though. Kill my yeah, meta solved. You like cards being banished so much? I'm gonna banish one just for you. <laughs> waste of time. Absolute waste of time. <laughs> you literally wasted my time. You wasted my time. What the fuck is this? Does anyone have some grass for this man? <laughs> Any variety. <laughs> Any variety of grass. <laughs> this man has clearly been wounded, hurt. <laughs> I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated. I've been abused, scorned, talked about, showed the bone. I've been up, down, all well through the ground. <laughs> Long as I'm straight up tilted, long as I'm straight up tilted, long, long, long as I'm tilted, gonna play all of this bullshit. Look at this. Look how scared he is. Scared, 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 scared. I ain't gonna lie. It is good distribution <laughs> in terms of the cards, but I'm sure he probably just maxed out on the three of's because it was hyper consistency. So he probably was like two of two of two of two of you know what i'm saying just stuff he couldn't use so i see that stopping this was really good though kept him out of his whole thing goofy ass yeah when they put fiend smith in it i'm gonna actually get mad i like fiend smith like like you know i don't like quote unquote meta but the reality is in Yu-Gi-Oh, what i've discovered is that you know it's not necessarily a meta game per se. It's just the one card combo decks and everything else. Like if your deck can't do a one card combo, you're technically not on the same power level as a two card combo. Now veritables in terms of um, probability and stuff like that can make you win or lose, sure. But at the end of the day, what you're really looking at is one card combo decks versus everything else. and. Because Yu-Gi-Oh is a game that doesn't get rid of stuff, it's just a lot of stuff that isn't one card combos that are around. So it makes stuff, so it makes things look either super strong or super weak. There's like no middle ground in Yu-Gi-Oh. Either you know how to do it or you don't. See, I know how to do it. See, I know how to do it. You see what I'm saying? I know how to do it. Look, you see how I did that? That was his. That was his one card combo. I said stop with Effect Veiler. In his mind, he's got Ash, Imperm. And um, his one card combo, better scoop. Like that's why people give up as soon as you hit them with one hand trap that's not an ash. Like, cause they're thinking, holy shit, he's gonna one card combo me to death. Like, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't look at it like that because we all, there's like a bias in the, like the Yu-Gi-Oh zeitgeist. We kind of all get around the same ideas and cards and we know certain things are happening, you know, but we don't know why things are happening. It's like if you were in a house and then the house got really warm all of a sudden. And you were like, oh, this house is so warm, I'm so comfortable. And then you just roll over and go to sleep. But then you remember, wait, I don't have a furnace or a heater. Why is my house so warm? <laughs> Your house is on fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so we gotta know why shit is hot. And the reason, number one reason why shit is hot in Yu-Gi-Oh is that the strongest decks does everything off one card 
or at the end of their one card combo, they even out to one. So, so that's like a 1.5, you know? So you can have a 1.5 combo, that's fine. You just can't have a two card combo. A two card combo is where it's like, nah, <laughs> no! I'm using Ash, I'm using Baylor and Imperm. Then you're like, I end my turn. Then they're like, <laughs> that's pretty much the difference. Like these guys are always gonna be able to cook, but what Fiends, might, what makes Fiendsmith so good is that it's extra deck, um, it's extra deck, uh, 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 one tar one card combo. So technically, that kind of makes it like a one point five ish kind of combo, kind of like my deck, kind of like the Gladiator Beast combo. So if that's the case, then the Fiendsmith Engraver combo is always gonna be. One of, well, Fiendsmith's always going to be good until they make a deck that does one card combos out of the extra deck for less. You know, if there's a way to play five, you know, if there's a way to go first to play five hand traps and then access your one card combo, you know, without, you know, utilizing the actual physical card as a resource, you know, players are going to find it, you know. But now I'm going to have to deal with this. Because, you know, this deck definitely has got a lot of one-card combos. And it works really well with this low. I think it's, I mean, I really like Voices of Voice. It's kind of, it's cool. It's, I feel like Voices of Voice is cool. And I wish more, I wish less people played it. <laughs> I, I think it's a good deck and I like it. But I also don't like it. I wish less people played this shit. Like, but Fiendsmith's going to be crazy. When they drop Fiendsmiths in Master Duel... One one card combo Fiendsmith is disgusting, man. And it's also so splashable. But I, I haven't seen any Fiendsmith VDDs or anything like that. I, I mean, I haven't been like particularly looking. But you know, you know, I've seen some U Bell DDDs. I haven't seen any Fiendsmith DDDs or anyone saying like this is my Fiendsmith DDD deck per se. Verte? All right. So he's a liar. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, yo! He's trying to do Celine. He's trying to go for Celine. He's trying to summon Celine. <laughs> oh, hey. He's like, I got my voices voice, dog. Can't target this card. Oh my god, target two. Says during is it during your opponent's turn? Quick effect. Special summon two monsters from the grave. <laughs> and you know what too he wants to summon. All right, here we go. Good, you got it out the way. Thanks, brother. Special summon, target two cards or summon each. Oh, you summon it to my side? <gasps> Cute. That was cute. Didn't know you could do that. That was cute. Nice head. I think I'll take it. Nice head. I think I'll take it. Nice head. I think I'll take it. All right. I'm going to play the card, and then I'm going to say the line. I'm going to. Hey. Hey. Hey! The dark ruler has said you're not here anymore. Oh, he's gonna get low. Ooh, you can get low. Get low. Get low, get low, get low. Ooh, to the window! To the wall! 
Did that voice this voice go crazy? This actually is insane. Put a monster on your opponent's side of the field. This is crazy. I guess it would be bad if you had a um a witch magic though. Yeah. No response, eh? Is normal or special summons? That's kind of crazy. I could do that. It's a normal or special summon. Put a guy out. But basically, as soon as I summon, he's gonna have the uh, the army. Basically, as soon as I summon, he's gonna have the army. And then, then the army can hit the negate. So basically, but then I'm gonna need the normal summon. So basically, I think the best thing I can do is these. So as soon, yeah, as soon as I summon, he's gonna get that. Let me try this. not even dead. So busted. Wish I had something for that. Hey, hey, whoa. Is when your opponent activates a card or effect. So, uh, That's pretty funny. Do not rush me.
Get ready for a Twitch exclusive. <laughs> Full gladiation. Wonderful. That's what we like to see. All right. Now we can get some real punishment going. Oh, those are 2050. That's disgraceful. Those things are 2050. All right, gladiation time. Page two. Hmm. Witness the power of my gladiator beast. Hear this, voiceless voice. Your cheeks are clapped. Hear me, voiceless voice. Spread your cheese. You are finished. No, they're rushing me. I'm finished. No, they rush me. They rush me. No, don't rush me! Oh, don't rush me! Ah! Hey, ah! Uh. Hey, ah! Oh! Oh, yeah, my turn! Shit! <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! <laughs> Shoot! Shoot! Oh, I had to hurry up. That's kind of crazy. They gave him all that time to do. No! We're not giving up. We're not giving up. We're not giving up. I can't lose yet. No. Chain block, don't rush me. <laughs> Not the chain block. I was going as fast as I could. <laughs> you scammed me. You scammed me. You scammed me. You made me misplay. I had more combo, but the timer is like time in the round, duelist. Time in the round. God, thanks everybody for the support. I really appreciate it. Everybody, the 
been helping out. Your boy's seeing all kinds of people today on the stream. It's insane. All kinds of people hopping in on the stream. I'm getting absolutely cooked right now. I'm not done yet, though. There's still a chance if I can hold on to my monsters. No. The voiceless boss. No, you can ritual summon a light beast. He's scamming. He's scamming. He affiliated. This card is crazy, man. When your opponent activates a card or effect while you control a low. So he can even stop that. He can't kill the this, though, because it can't die by battle. So. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no change. No. I, yeah, because I didn't get a chance to chain block it. And he took the I didn't even get full. I didn't even get full use out of my combo. I had to leave some of it on the table, but I did leave a monster that was pr properly summoned, so that's good enough. So please stop rushing. Does he negate Anderson? I forgot about that thing. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, I forgot about that. I was concerned about that. I forgot that thing hopped up. Oh, disgusting. Uh oh. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got me. Should have actually did that first. I should have been. He could have, uh, well, that wouldn't have really been. Yeah, well, yeah, it would have been. Yeah, it would have made a difference. Because I would have put another uh, horse card in the grave. So, yeah, I should have I should did that first since I was going to discard and exchange the Tri Brigade monster for the horse card, then use this effect. But now he's using this effect to negate this. That's funny. Silly Billy. Oh, my God. If I had known he was going to be this kind of dingus, I would have did it the other way. Forgive me for respecting you, for respecting you. Shit. Damn. Man, get your big ass. You out. I hope you lose to this. <laughs> He's not gonna lose. This is kind of insane, bro. This dude played a mirror jade, voiceless voice, branded. Jalgen. We gotta look at this. This is crazy. He even predator plant birthday anaconda for even got that card was legal. And he's got bistrels in here. He damn. So I guess this is just a branded voiceless voice deck with the Jalgen the Spiritualist combo. 
which is pretty good. That is a pretty good combo. Come get the dub if you can, my boy. Seeing that, see, I actually I shouldn't I shouldn't have respected his cards or respected him as a duelist. I should have just played and just activated the cards. Now I'm about to get now I'm about to get cooked. Yeah, it was about to get cooked. I think one of these cards says something about cannot be destroyed. But it sends it. So Show me another guy that can run over this. Show me something. Got some links or something? Okay. Okay. You've convinced me. He was like, and uh, this one? I'm like, yeah, okay. Flash, flash, uh, flash the voiceless voice ritual for game. Come on, man. They're holding me up on this. All you need is three W's for the rank up. They're scamming me. Let me get my three. Just come on. Just let me take it and go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let me take my W. Come on. Don't scam me anymore. Just let me take my W. They're sending me every god, every champion, every king, Every lord, every duke. Just don't send the archduke. <laughs> don't send him. You already know what happens when he, sh when he shows up, my boy. Sir, take that punishment, sir. What did he play? Oh, no, of course not. I affect Baylor did. You silly Billy. Look at that guy. He's like, well, why didn't it work? I don't understand. You know why it didn't work. You know why that thing didn't work. You know what I just did to that thing. No, you're not supposed to summon this thing. What are you going to do with this? Boy, you know I'm not going to let you add nothing. What if I use the card called Infinite Impermanence on your ass? Open up the impermanence. Spread those cheeks. You thought you were, you thought you were invading? How about you invade this impermanence? Looks like the cherubim and God's judgment has come down upon him. What? And they just killed my dog. And then the hand trap taught me how to take the bag. Look like he won't be adding no cards to hand. Look like I'm about to get the dub and tilt this man. Don't play me. I need a beast. Beast warrior or wing beast. Dodo. Where is my beast, beast? What are y'all wing beast? Where is it? <laughs> yeah! Impermanent. A powerful card indeed. You see. Now I'll defeat you with this. I place two cards face down. And then my turn. This right here is what y'all been talking about. This the Yu-Gi-Oh y'all want. I want the Yu-Gi-Oh to be old school, dog. Y'all just want to do T formation and pass. Attack the face down. Whoa. Oh, activate effect. Whoa. Oh, that's what y'all want to do. No, we ain't doing that. We not doing that. Old school Yu-Gi-Oh in these parts. Old school. <laughs> Striker on YouTube. You're a madman with that comment. You're an absolute madman with that comment. 
He said he, he said he just got on the toilet, popped up from the stream, turned it sideways, and was like, yes. <laughs> this is the perfect time to squeeze one out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that enlightenment. No, can he take even my face down souls? Oh, he cannot take face up, guys. No, now he's got double cash. Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna do the thing. Oh, you know what he's gonna do with that thing. Oh, oh wait. You're trying to get that cash? Give me my money, Ani, 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 cash. Actually, you know what? Get this. <laughs> I tried it twice, dog. Take it out the deck. That card ain't working out for you. Take it out. Take it out. You tried it twice. It didn't work. Both got negated. Come on. Attack the space down. Get get what you've been looking for. Come on. Attack the face down. I just attacked the face down. No. He wants my zones. No, get out of my zones. No, he wants a zone. I'm not going to let you get in my zone. Wait, what are you going to do with this? You're not supposed to, You're not supposed to continue. You're supposed to stop. This is supposed to be regular Yu-Gi-Oh! IT set. You're not supposed to be extending. No, not my not my zone. No, not. No, don't add the big bang back. Whoa! Hey, yo! Whoa! How did he do that? Mother! I am allergic. DJ didn't save my life. Now I'm gonna die at the walls of the Imperial Tomb. I'm like the ancient priest when the invading hordes come in. I'm running to the Imperial Tomb walls. Help me, help me, please. I'm literally about to be taken by the Cactera invasion. Bye. Fine, slay me in front of the Imperial walls. Yes, slay me here in front of the Imperial wall. Slay me. Take my life. <laughs> no, Kaiba! <laughs> These Twitch emojis is hilarious. We had to get up on that game. <laughs> All I needed was Sky Typhon. Sky Typhon would have came back and just brought me back. Sky Typhon would have came out, smacked over this, sent that back, got the search, pass. <laughs> I'm just cooked. Kill me. Kill me in the Imperial Walls. Kill me at the King's Sarcophagus. Kill me. Send me to send me to the heavens. <laughs> send me to the King's Sarcophagus. I don't know why they're punishing me. They've come out to beat me to death. <laughs> Said if Konami got a price on my head, that's what it be feeling like. <laughs> I swear, I swear the difficulty increases immensely when soon as I hop on stream. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. But like I mentioned before about the whole ratio things, about having powerful hands when your hand is weak, right, and vice versa. When my hands have been weak, my opponents have had some really powerful hands. 
but when my hands were weak they were extremely weak where i had maybe one or two cards that i could play which means that is a pretty low chance on victory but i could have drawn a card to even it out but i didn't <laughs> uh in a lot of situations that kind of happened they never just send you off i was trying to be polite come over and get the get the dub so i can get some money come on i'm trying to get some diamonds i can't run from every duel boy if you don't get over here I can't imagine just sitting across from a guy resolving everything. I have been the guy sitting back resolving everything. It looks like Diamond 3 was too tough for your boy today. Coughing up blood death emoji. <laughs> Sending myself to the graveyard. Actually, you know what? I, no, I, no, no, no. I take that back. I got good tilted. I was like, why am I playing this deck anyway? I remember Farfa showed up to the stream and, and did that uh, stream raid. And then uh, <laughs> I got excited. <laughs> then I start getting tilted. <laughs> well, fuck it, then, man. I'm gonna be getting in there tomorrow, my boys, at the same dank time, same dank channel, 11 p.m. CST until whenever. We've got some crazy content coming up. Check your boy out. September's gonna be amazing. I've got some content cooking for you. Everything that you got that you like about. The content I've been making recently and some new stuff you've never seen before is going to be dropping all through September. And I've got tons of good quality content. I know you guys are going to enjoy. I appreciate the boy Farfa for sending those boys my way. I appreciate everybody who stuck around from Farfa's stream. Um, and thank thanks for everybody who came from YouTube checking me out vertically. I know your neck is probably hurting and you kind of twisted, but I appreciate you helping your boy out in this journey to become a YouTube streaming live duelist. All right. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep it dang.